Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, the great. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Missed with that attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice punch by Short. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. It's a good right hand right there. Some nice back and forth action here. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful body kick. And that one certainly found the target. Just missed with the left there. Single collar tie now. There's no give on that leg kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Misses again with a right punch. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Oh, no. Big punch lands through the middle. Slips the punch. Small collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Sneaky head kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch there by Choi. Got the single collar tie. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Just out of range with that right hand. Big kick lands. Throws the left hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful leg kick throw. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts, but that's the soft. Right. part of your leg, so you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you go at. The next with a right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A little single collar tie there. And they separate. Right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there, and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Just look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, perfect combination. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big ball from Butch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh, 
single collar tie here. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful kick. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of the rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Leg kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Real quick leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Able to check that kick as well. What a punch. The right hand just misses. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Over. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. What a round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. Better get the problem. there. Oh, needed the head. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Straight right hand now just misses. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely punished by that head kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. Right punches there. Attempts the front kick there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nice punch, man. Look at the force behind that leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, single collar tie now. Leg kick checked nicely by the Korean Super Bowl. Big kick land. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, he's hurt good, man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big left. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That was nice. And they set. Ooh. He's got one here. Well, he continues. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Choi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Lands the right hand. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Fighters back to their feet here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. Oh! What's he going to do? Follow up. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the round. Joy 
gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh. Oh. Beautiful point. And they separate. Look at the torso on the right side. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh! Slips the punch nicely there. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with, we'll see very shortly. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he 